Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Apsa and this is Infinite Wayfair. Few days back I did a Q&A on Instagram regarding some book suggestions and I got some amazing responses. So today I'm going to take you for some book shopping in my city. Shopping can be so exciting like I uh, Every time I go to a bookstore, I always have a list in mind about what books I want to buy. But I always, always, always end up buying something else. So, I've picked two places for my book shopping. And towards the end of the video, I shall show you all the amazing books I got. And it's going to be so much fun. You don't really hear people talking about this shop anymore. Which, by the way, was once the only most thriving bookstore in the city. First of its kind, Modern Book Depot has been here in Bhubaneswar since 53 years now. In stepping on the entrance itself, it feels like homecoming. I was amazed by the unique collection of this place and so I dropped my list immediately and decided to get some of these rare beauties instead. I mean, I've never seen such old historical records on Odisha in any bookstore ever. I just had to get them because I knew I won't get it anywhere else. And if there's any book you're seeking or have no idea what to read, the owner is a perfect guide and mentor for it. A well-versed gentleman and so well-read. He's like this book wizard. Trust me, I got all my books from his recommendations only. And I bet anyone who visits this place ends up having a heartwarming talk with him about books and whatnot. German married and Uriya here, mm -hmm. and she was about life and privacy. To say that this place is iconic i insist everyone who's a reader to please visit this place and experience the love for books just the old school style it's time for bookstore number two but looks like i have company house turned into a bookstore slash library what struck me the most is how beautifully this place is conceptualized welcome to walking book fairs it is so aesthetically pleasing, you just wouldn't want to leave. And the ambience is to die for. No wonder this place is everyone's favourite these days. The smell of books hits you as soon as you enter the store. And there are tiny little corners with plants and lovely sunlight from the windows lighting up the room. So stacks of books and pin drop silence in the background. It's every book lover's dream come true. The owners are super friendly and the dedication to their passion really shows in this place. All in all, I just loved it. Let's go Okay, so we are back from my book shopping and look at this. I got one, two, three, four, five. I got myself six books and on my say eight be list me tha. Um, as I said, Modern Book Depot had a huge collection of uh, books related to Odisha. And it's just sad that I haven't read much about my own state. And many jitna bhi padai, I don't think that is enough. So the first book that I got is called Odisha by W. W. Hunter. Uh, this book was first printed in 1870. Dates the legends and myths that prevailed during the English rule from 1769 to 1869. The second book that I got is called A Time Elsewhere by J.P. Das. Uh, it is a fiction and uh, in a 
in a time elsewhere fiction and history come together in a sweeping narrative spanning 50 years to create a minutely detailed portrait of 19th century odisha the third book is called the real history of konark it shed the new light on the black pagoda and related aspects of history of odisha and uh, the title itself was quite intriguing and i had to get this i got two books written by manoj das one is called a tiger at twilight and cyclones it has two novels uh, combined in one book the first story is called a tiger at twilight um the erstwhile raja of samargarh returns to his abandoned palace in nijanpur after years of self exile with his sick daughter and his supposed half sister and immediately assumes the responsibility of killing a man eating tiger as the men get closer to killing the beast bizarre things happen hinting at the influence of the supernatural and the second story is called cyclones it is set in kusumpur a small coastal village during the struggle for independence the village is devastated by a cyclone and sandeep uh, from a zamindari family helps to restore it cyclone is a powerful novel about metaphorical storms that grip the nation during the most turbulent period of modern history the next book is selected fiction by manoj das again it has a collection of 28 short stories yeah marked by humor and compassion wit and sensitivity this collection brings together the best work of india's most mature rewarding writers and the final book that i got is called 1971 a people's history from bangladesh pakistan and india books explores the ways in which the year is remembered and forgotten across the country's generations and communities i am quite a history buff you guys like i love history and i love to know more about the place i belong to so it has been quite an experience going for book shopping in my city something that i have never done before i hope you like this vlog please let me know your comments and i'll see you in the next video all right this feels good you and i think we got something special and that don't need to try any harder it's just better it's just good when i'm with you all right this feels good you and i think we got something special Just better it's just good when i'm with you all right